This weekend is the start of Passover and also Easter. So we met up with Stephanie Nass, also known as Stephanie, to get some entertaining ideas. And she even showed me how to make some holiday treats. Take a look. Great to have you with us. I'm so glad to be here, Lori. Thank you for having me. Okay, so where should we start, Stephanie? So I brought for you a couple of different ideas for mm -hmm. spring entertaining. Passover, as you know, is all about unleavened bread. So right. I've incorporated matzah into a bunch of my ideas. Okay. This is a matzah house. Like a gingerbread it's house. It's the Jewish answer to a gingerbread house. <laughs> I love it. You can decorate it with dried fruit, uh -huh. chocolate, candy, sprinkles, whatever. What do you have on it right now? I put my Chefney sheets. They okay. come in all different patterns on Chefney.com. Um, you can mix patterns. I kind of like the look of matzah with the different patterns, but you can do whatever no, you want. No, and it's edible, right? All your sheets are edible. Totally edible. Okay, great. Um, um, I also wrapped matzah around a flower face. Mm -hmm. So all you do is lean some sheets of matzah against a glass face with flowers and tie it with a ribbon. Done. Can you use like the chocolate covered matzah sheets? Definitely. Right? Yes, or any decorated matzah sheets. Okay. Totally. Um, I made a traditional matzah, but mm -hmm. this time I used food dye. You have to taste it. It tastes just like the normal kind, okay. but it has these pretty striations of blue that are a little more festive. Mm. Thin, mm -hmm. A little salty. Mm -hmm. That's just a matzah. touch. It's delicious. <laughs> mm. I carved out of a cabbage from the grocery store mm -hmm. a hole big enough to fit a glass cup. And this is an interesting way to, oh. um, you know, mix up your flower base. And it's so base. natural, which is it's what I organic. really love. It's exactly the right color for spring holidays. Mm -hmm. And all you do is tuck in this little glass face, which mm -hmm. I, you hollow it out, tuck in the glass space, and then you put in some pretty flowers and you're done. And what I love is that you could really make this a family affair. Yeah. Everyone can have a role, because kids always are loving Absolutely. arts and crafts. So this mm -hmm. is an hors d'oeuvre that works for Passover or Easter. Mm -hmm. Sweet pea puree on little crackers. So it could be a matzo cracker. It could be a cracker you find in the cheese section so of the grocery store. So how do you, what are the ingredients? So it's just pea puree. Okay. You cook peas, mm -hmm. puree them with um, a hand blender, mm -hmm. and then just drizzle it on the cracker. I think it's so pretty to put these edible flower petals. I bought mine in Italy, but you can find them really at any Italian specialty store. Mmm, mm -hmm. it's delicious. I, I, I love it, and it's so simple. You leave it out, the crackers won't get soggy. Okay, I'm admiring the napkins. So I love to fold napkins in all different shapes. Mm -hmm. um, this is in the shape of a little rose because spring is all about blossoming flowers and the table should be as well. Okay, so but this can is I a little teach intimidating you? because no. you, have, you feel like I, you have to be really creative and no. talented. No, I'm going to show you how to okay. do it. It's so easy. Okay. So one smaller triangle within a larger triangle, just like that, perfect. Okay. And then you're quickly going to t roll the napkin in little rolls and you just start rolling it from one side. Just roll, roll, roll. Okay. Uh, this is how's this it going? Is, I think it's going good. I mean it's not gonna be as pretty as yours. It but. will be. It's so simple. It can be this is so okay. simple. Okay. Do I just go across? You go all the way across until you have a little bit of the napkin left. Okay. You tuck that into the outer layer of the of the you know rose okay. petal. No, just wait, like wait. this. Just fold it, tuck it in. Okay. And then pull it tight, and voila, you have a little rose. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got what did it. I do wrong? Nothing. Oh. You just turn it over, and you have this great rose shaved napkin. This is so cute. It's a Rice Krispie bunny. It's an Easter bunny Rice Krispie. Uh -huh. All you need is to bake or buy a sheet of Rice Krispie treats. Okay. You buy a cookie cutter. Mine mm -hmm. is a little bunny shape. Adorable. You punch the little bunny out of the cookie cutter. Okay. I cut out these little bunny shapes from my sheets, but you could equally decorate this with sprinkles or frosting or melted chocolate. Okay. Take it off the backing sheet. All this you is do, so easy. presto, you have a little bunny in pastel Easter colors mm -hmm. in just a couple of moments. I love it. Look at this beautiful matzah sheet. I mean, so this is, is this? a marbleized matzah. I've uh -huh. taken three different colors of candy melts, melted them, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create that sort of pretty marbleized pattern in just a couple of moments. Okay, let's do it. So maybe you can help me. I love We're going to put dollops of these different colors directly on the matzah. Okay. You don't have to be exact. You just do it here and there. What you're going to do mm -hmm. 
is a zigzag. Now this is motion. chocolate flavored or this what flavor is, is like it? candy melts. So it's oh, sort like of like white, white chocolate. Okay. But you're gonna do, I'm gonna first do this. Then I'm gonna do a zigzag. Oh, so each one is just individual. Totally and unique. And then these lines. Beautiful. And do you just let it harden there? You let it harden in the fridge. Okay. And then you're ready to serve it for dessert. This was wonderful. Great ideas, great tips, wonderful, yummy things, and the napkins. Always. So where can people find you? Chefney.com. Okay. Have a happy holiday. Happy holiday. She's the best. Anyway, so Stephanie posts all of her recipes and entertaining how-tos on her website, Stephanie.com. Very nice. Congratulations. Happy Passover. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. All right.